With Jason going DK, it's kind of good. We get a lot of, uh, a lot of data that you don't, you know, matches you don't normally see. You don't see a lot of DK Fox. I've seen, uh, seen Lorenzo beat down Stevie G a few times. But Stevie G has tried, he's tried, no, he tried Fox last year. He tried Pika and Kirby at one point or another. But like, the Fox plays right into what Lorenzo knows best. He knows, I think he's best against Fox because of uh, Rossi. And he's really good against Kirby. I don't know if that's from his time in Texas uh, playing against Knackle, but he's, he's really good at those matchups. He's pretty good against Pika too. Um, uh, this is a this is a very difficult matchup for DK if the Fox can play safe and you know lasers and whatnot. But you get a Fox that plays a little too aggressive, you just throw him off stage and he dies. And then Bert comes over. You're like, hey Bert, did you see that Fox get edge guarded a lot? He's like, well, no, no, I don't speak English. <laughs> Bert. You're the best boy. <laughs> uh, him and uh, him and Apparition, I think, watched the, the Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah, because I know they hated that. <laughs> Dave, Dave and, like those kind of movies, it's just funny. Like I would have loved to see Dave watch Bridesmaids. Like I, I never watched. I never watched all of Bridesmaids, uh, but it was in the theaters when I was working in the theaters, and I saw some of it, and it looked like there were a couple good jokes, but there was also a lot of it where it's just, haha, girls being gross, you know. Like there's a lot of that that genre of comedy now. There are a lot of uh, legitimately funny. Um, female comedians, but then there are some that are just like, oh, haha, -ha, you know, I talked about my vagina, but I shouldn't say that. But, uh, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying. Um, I'm trying to think of the, the male equivalent um, over there. Part of, part of Louis C.K.'s comedy is just the male equivalent. I really did like Louis C.K., though, but he did. Uh, yeah, you can't really defend that. He was my favorite, he was my favorite little comedian, and then now he's not. You know? Yeah, you, you can't get past that. It's like the silver lining of Mitch Hedberg passing away. It's like I can always think of him as the greatest comedian, like my favorite comedian of all time. Because he can't do anything wrong. Yeah. It's like it's really sad, but it's like at least he'll it'll never come, you know. No, uh, well, something could come out, but it, it's, good. it's very unlikely. He seemed like a good dude. Dame's do, doing pretty good in this matchup. Oh. If if Dark can take this, you know, one more stock, he can kind of cheese out that last stock and not worry about being back to stock. Oh, he needed to get that. Be, oh, see, right here. He gets this kill, it's huge. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that was a pretty crucial... That, that could be a like a set costing mistake if uh, Protothag ends up winning this thing. He had the edge guard and then he could have uh, teased out that last stock with like a car going to a stage or something.
B. I don't know if this is true, but the down B got, gave enough shield pressure to uh, give the a grab. Grab, throw it on stage. Protect can make it back. Dark's gonna stay up there. I mean, Fox is pretty good from center stage in the middle because he can poke up airs through the platforms. And Dark spamming up bees. Oh, he gets grabbed out of that one. I think because the initial hit uh, landed on the shield, um, it is the same hitbox isn't allowed to hit twice. So Dane was able to get in there and grab before the, the second weaker hitbox came out. So brutal against against Fox. Just getting <clears throat> down tilt to shine as most characters. I think really Pika is one of the few characters that Fox down tilt doesn't just completely obliterate at the ledge. Like even, even Kirby and the Mario Bros uh, down tilt pretty strong. <coughs> um, Puff can Puff can avoid down throw. Oh, he doesn't get that grab. Fox roll. One of the only good rolls. <coughs> wow. And unedged guardable from Protag makes it back. And Dark will not make it back from that. The Protag with an unedged guardable moment gets back on stage and takes a stock from Dark. It's up three to one right now, but look, we, we've seen Dark close these gaps pretty quickly. He almost did it last game, but... <coughs> oh, that up B doesn't hit. Protag not able to close that out. <laughs> Vert farted. Oh, the up tilt. The up tilt might have saved Protag stock right there. See if Dark can make it back on stage. Again, he's high percentage. He just needs to take this stock and then he can do something cheesy with the last stock. Oh, and this time he gets it. Doesn't drop that edge guard. Very dangerous here, though, for both players. Oh, great DI from Dane. Just out of range of the grab following that Nair and the <laughs> get up attack. Oh. Oh, and he gets a strong hit. Oh, I thought for sure Dark was going to go for the punch there. So you can Dark take this to game three. Oh, he doesn't have a jump. Oh, he does have a jump. How did he get his jump back? What a fade. Ledge hop punch. The Dark Horse. You know he's going to go for that. Is he going to win a game because of... Oh, and he gets back on the stage. Oh, my God. Uh, see, oh, he goes for the last smash. That's not gonna. That's not gonna work. Oh no, bunch. <clears throat> oh, no, oh, he doesn't get it. What is he doing? Oh, this could be it right here. On oh, the forward tilt. What happened there? He had it. And Protag. Wow, barely coming out with that one. Yeah. Whew, what a game.